hi everyone welcome back to my matter if you're new here just know i bring out videos as consistently as possible but um if you're new here make sure to like make sure to subscribe and let's get right into this video so today i thought we'd do something different um it's been a while trying to figure out how i do it but now i think i'm figuring it out but yeah so we're going to be ranking the characters of pretty much the first webtoon i'm pretty sure it's the first webtoon i ever like reviewed and that is girls of the wild so yeah that is for this intro and uh yeah hi everyone so um yeah so this is what we're going to be doing so basically i've made like a tier ranking thing going on right here and um so yeah i feel i thought we would do it in like s rank a rank b rank blah blah so on and so forth just to be like mimic the way like um who's the best at fighting the sort of like arrange and categorize so yeah okay so here are the characters down here as you can see all right so s rank is god tier a is i love you so much you will never know b is you're doing great c is eh, i like you you're right d is head empty no thoughts e is you are a thin ice um f is bottom tier trash 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 completely trash so um, yeah okay so i moved out of the sunlight a little bit so yeah so let's start s rank yeah okay no actually let's do it randomly let's try and do it as randomly as possible so let's just start with number one so this was one of the principles of i think this was a director actually this was the director of girls of the world i'm gonna put him right i think i said i would put him on d tier so yeah let's put him right let's put him right there i think he deserves to be there let's just keep him there and while we're at it let's put the principal there as well because i think they both i think they're both like they both deserve to be there actually let's just put them both here so they're on d rank which i said was what you're on thin ice i think no that was head empty no thoughts this is head empty no thoughts rank um i put them there because you know what the thought of the school they're great enough with the thought of the school and everything but like i hated the idea of them only introducing boys into the school for the sake of like what was it for like romance they, they were like oh um the girls are not being like delicate flowers again and it was like you know it's a good idea to have introduced boys into the school if you want them to have normal like human interactions but the examples that they use for them not being delicate flowers were really good and justified systems for them to react to men one was one was the girls um attacked men who were cat calling them and they didn't stop i think and then the other one was um the alumni of the school i believe was trying to defend herself and the other people customers in a bank because she was working at a bank from like a robbery so i'm thinking those are really good examples those are not really good examples to help your case like what if they had shown me like these girls are really awkward at social interactions when it comes to boys i'd be like yeah okay calm like no so i was like huh no sorry bringing boys it's not it's not that deep it's never that like needed in like the development of a girl's life so i was like mm. okay so that's them next one dal dal oh my god oh my god definitely we already know where she's going to be like i said i've done a review of girls of the world she is gonna go right right at the top right at the top s rank i love her so much she deserves it she deserved better she deserved oh my god she deserved better than that horrible that horrible romance that was shoved in for her, it was not needed. It was not needed for her. She was the best one in my opinion. That is my queen. S rank, she deserves it. She she deserved I loved her so much. I loved her so much. That is she Wow. Wow. Wow wow wow. Next one is I think Lee Gosu. I'm pretty sure that's how to pronounce her name. So I'm gonna I, well, I'm probably butchering it. I want to put her right here in B rank, and I think this is what you're doing great, sweetie rank, right? I'm pretty sure that's where she's going to go. Um, so yeah, I liked her. She was okay. I didn't mind her at all. I thought she was really sweet. I like her. I thought she was going to have more of an impact in the story, which is why I'm pretty like bummed out that I didn't see much of her. But yeah, she's great. She's great. She's on. You're doing great, sweetie rank. Yeah, that's that's her. That's her. I think that's pretty good. Uh, so the next one is Haishin Kim. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put her in Where did I want to put her? I think here as well. This is head empty no thoughts. Yeah, I think that's pretty fitting for her I think it's okay Um, She's a she's a good competitor. She's okay. I think she's fine. I don't hate her. She's just mm, 
kind of annoying, but as annoying as an antagonist is supposed to be annoying. So we're going to keep her right there. And um, yeah, so that's her. Then here is Queen's little brother. I think I put him on Euron Thin Ice. Let me quickly check just to make sure. Yeah, he's in Euron Thin Ice because he annoyed me. This little brother annoyed me. I feel like I'm being kind of harsh on him actually, but um, we're going to keep him there for now. We're going to keep him there for now. I, I, um, we're going to just leave him right there. Okay, so let's go for Jigu. Jigu, Jigu, I'm going to put him on your doing great sweetie while he irritated me while he irritated me he was the protagonist and while he wasn't the best protagonist i can sort of feel bad for his story and everything he's okay he's not too bad i felt it's also like pride whenever he kind of like what's the word whenever he progressed and grew like i said i hated the romance in this meaning i hated his involvement in that whole entire romance love triangle thing i hated it so but yeah you're doing great sweetie that's why i put him like behind legal so he's not next to he's not top tier you're doing great sweetie but like yeah he's all right he's okay time for the gym teacher gym teacher f rank i hated him i hated him and i think i'll talk about him more when um lena comes up but no how are you so stupid how are you so stupid you're the gym teacher of the other school his whole thing was um being competitive for the other school that was going to be fighting um girls of the wild girls and it's like how are you sexist and stupid like pick a struggle how are you sexist and stupid you know what i mean if you're just sexist okay that's still its own form of stupidity but like for the sense that you knew about the girls of the world you knew what they could do and what they were capable of one of your students got beaten by um what's her name queen i think the year before that so like why are we acting like all of this is new i think i thought that was really 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 annoying so i didn't like that gym teacher so bottom tier trash he deserves i actually don't care um yeah like teacher like students i hated this guy I hated him. He deserves to be bought on the address. See, you're an antagonist and that's cool and fine and whatever. But once you start touching kids, once you start trying to harm kids, I think I think that's just it's just it's not it's not it's not the I, I don't I don't have the patience for that. I don't have the patience for you trying to harm children. So you're trying to harm the twins. Um Jago's the two like twin siblings. They're and they're like they're like young. They're like five or so. They're really, really young. So the fact that you wanted to like poison them doesn't fly with me does not fly with me that's too far that's way too deep um next one is i think it's like the mafia leader guy i'm gonna put him on your own thin ice like i said um falls into the stupidity thing i think well what, what, what was this whole deal yeah your stupidity i think that was it because you you he came up to the to the school and then he tried to fight them again. And it's like, how many times will all these antagonists, all these men, because all of them, for the most part, are men. How many times will they learn? How many times do they have to learn? How many times do they have to be beaten for them to realize, like, hey, these girls aren't a joke. I don't... Uh, yeah, so I think I put a double of the principal. So we're just going to skip over him. Time for Lina. She's going to go all the way over here. She deserves to be there. That is my I love you more than you ever know rank. She's a bad bitch. She she's great. She's great. I honestly should have taken um that as a cue, as a red flag for what they were trying to do with her and him. As a red flag to me to know that yeah, this romance that they were gonna do between um Jago, Dauda and Queen wasn't gonna go well. That's how I should have taken that as a red flag. I should have taken that as a red flag because number one, why would they try to force a relationship between her and the gym teacher? Does that make sense? Does that she's a side character? Does that make sense? I didn't enjoy that. I didn't enjoy that at all. That's number one. Number two, why would you try to force a relationship between the guy that was literally sexist towards her towards her her school? Why would you, and stupid at the same, why would you try to force a relationship between two? I thought uh, that really pissed me off. That really annoyed me. It was like, why? It wasn't needed. If you wanted to give her a relationship, why give her him? 
why give her him i just i didn't understand that at all he did not deserve her lena deserved way better i just wow she was done dirty she was done dirty uh okay next person i believe this is who is he this is lee minam yeah this is lee minam he's gonna go on my d rank i believe this is head empty no thoughts head empty no thoughts he's okay i think i preferred do i prefer it no i don't okay yeah head empty no thoughts he's okay he's fine um we don't see much of him so he's all right i don't know he doesn't occupy it like i said head empty no thoughts he doesn't occupy a lot of like space in my head he's fine he's okay um time for munyong i love munyong i love munyong she's gonna go right here to my you're doing great sweetie actually let's put her yeah let's put her right there let's put her right i think i like this 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 arrangement when young she's great she's she's amazing she's she's a good teacher um good friend she's a good friend i just didn't like that part where her dumb bitch juice was activated in um the beginning things like i, I don't understand why she didn't tell queen because at first i thought I put it all in my review, but let me just say that at first I thought Munyong was going to be more like a lucky kind of minion character to Queen because of the way she reacted to Queen trying to like um, blame Jegu for him spilling milk on Queen, even though it was Munyong's sort of fault as well. So I thought, oh, she's like a minionish character. That's why she just wants to speak out. And so I thought, oh no. She holds her own against Queen, so I didn't understand all of that. I didn't understand that. But other than that, I'm fine with her. I'm okay with her. I think she's a good, like, breath of fresh air between the other two trying to like Jegu, so that's fine. <sighs> Time for the love interest. I put him on. <sighs> you are thin ice. I put him on you are thin ice. And it's a shame because it's not his fault. It's a shame because his, it's not his fault. He's a pretty unassuming character, really. Um, the problem is I hated that he... You got me You got me invested into Jegu. The, this is... I'm talking to the creator now. I'm talking about the creator now. You got me invested into Jegu, which is the main character. And got me invested into Dauda, which is a pretty prominent character. So if you are going to give a relationship to anybody, I would think it would be... Um, if you're going to make someone like the love interest of Dauda, I think I would think it would it would be Jegu or at least someone more prominent. You know what I mean? Why introduce him? Why introduce him last minute? As soon as they introduced him, I knew. I just knew from then on. I knew. I knew. I was like, wow. I was, as soon as it, it wasn't even romantic at that point. As soon, I was like, yeah, no. I know how this is going to end. I know how this, as soon as, I was still holding on hope. I already had some, some inkling that it wasn't going to be, it, it obviously wasn't going to be dialed out. But as soon as he was introduced, I was like, wow, so is this how we're going to go? Is this, is, is this the path we're going to go through? Fine, cool, calm, cool. He's pretty unassuming character. He's fine. I just don't like how he was introduced. He's very much a non-entity. He has no personality. His only personality is out here is to be like, um, a diverting force. He's only supposed to, like, get us. The, the only thing he's supposed to be there for is he could be replaced with anybody. He could honestly be replaced with anybody. The only thing he's supposed to be there for is to divert our attention, is to prevent the main character from making any difficult choice. Because we know, oh, as soon as, you know, a love interest is, is coming for one of the other love interests, then, then I don't know, the main character doesn't have to make a difficult choice. Why? Because now she's taken. Now, now, now Dao Dao is taken, you know. So obviously he doesn't have to make a difficult choice. He can just go for a queen. So yeah, he's pretty unassuming. But yeah, I just put something on the nice because I hated what his character was used for. So yeah, that's that. This one is queen. Queen, I'm gonna put her on C rank. I'm gonna put her there. I like you, you're all right. I I like her more than I dislike her. I made an entire video separately for Queen, by the way. It was called Character Assassination, maybe. I think, yeah, it was called Character Assassination. You'll see her thumbnail. You see, I'll probably link it as well. Um, I hate hating female characters. It does something to me. It does something to my soul. It does something to my psyche. I do enjoy that because I'm out here thinking, do I hate hate her? 
or is this internal misogyny you know what i mean because i'm like hmm so i hate hating female characters that's why she's on here on air like you, you're all right like i do like her she's okay i've made a whole video as to why i don't really like her but on the whole i like her she's all right she didn't do too bad to me after you know reflection i'm like wow i'll probably do i need to go look back at that video i hope i wasn't being too harsh on her because now i've come to realization that i'm okay with her like i'm okay with her i don't like her as much as i like moon young for example or dao dao definitely not but then again i don't like anyone as much as i love dao dao but yeah queen's okay she's all right yeah that's why she's there and that's why she's there um yeah so this is the mafia boss the mafia this this is like a like a these are the lackeys of this guy he is like a placeholder for every single male character not every single one but every single male character that came into contact with the girls of the world and wanted to fight them unprovoked so he is a lackey he's also he's also a placeholder for you know those people that were um that queen had like a whole conflict with because the guy the boss took a picture of her while she was in the bathroom so it was it was this whole thing it was this whole this whole repetitive thing bottom tier trash here because it's like no matter the fights became really repetitive so they're all there bottom tier trash i don't like them uh so here are the twins i'm gonna put them in head empty no thoughts head empty no thoughts they're okay i feel like the boy kind of brings them down for me the boy brings down the the whole thing for me i think i found him and i think why did i he's a kid i shouldn't be that mean to a kid <laughs> so let me put them here let me put them here let me put them here he, they, they're kids they're kids i didn't really like the boys trying to match make like him him and her i didn't i didn't enjoy that but that was just a passing thing so i don't know why i'm holding on to that with my chest it wasn't that deep but um yeah the kids are all right head empty no thoughts i don't mind them i don't mind them now time for him I, i've forgotten his name dead i've forgotten his name but he belongs right there that's where he deserves to be that's where he deserves to be i loved him i genuinely loved him like he was an antagonist as well but he was really funny too once he got over that whole antagonist thing going on and he just became like a he's a side character he just became like a side character helping at the washing place and everything the car wash place and everything he was really funny he was actually really funny i genuinely enjoyed him being a character there so yeah I, yeah <laughs> he was actually really funny so i enjoyed that i really did enjoy that so yeah so let's see what we have left right now i think this is it this is it this one like i said it's the last picture it's a duplicate of this one so of um the principal here so basically i'm done let's see one more time so you guys can have a look uh, what it is s tier god tier we have that right here that's dao dao my queen love her amazing she's the only one that deserves to occupy that spot a rank is i love you so much you will never know lena done dirty by that romance that was inputted there um b rank we have munya we have Ligo, so we have jegu that is you're doing great c rank is eh like you you're all right you're cool you're fine so that was what that was queen and that was this guy that I've forgotten the name of d rank is head empty no thoughts i feel like i'm being kind of harsh am i being harsh on the whole kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of um the twins the director the principal these positions may be switched i'm not sure who's the director and who's the principal or if they're both direct i can't remember but yeah they're there they're there because their motives the reasoning behind their motives was annoying um then we have Haishin kim then we have i think this is lee minam and then on to e rank which is what was it again you are thin ice you are thin ice that is j um queen's little brother am i being too harsh these are kids he's like 11 or so he's like 11 dead ass like he's a kid does he deserve to be hmm he's okay he's okay where he's at because i mean look at the people his his company is with. we have like a another side character i can't remember his name um but he was the the mafia leader kim hope yeah kim hope he's okay he was a side character and then we have him the love interest i didn't even bother like remembering his name what was his name i didn't even write it down um but yeah love interest here so yeah he's among 
his crowd i think i think i think there's too much of a jump between my e and my f rank maybe i think that's the problem i think that's the problem yeah but i'm gonna keep it how it is i'm gonna keep it how it is and then my last rank is bottom tier trash completely like i said that is the gym teacher for you know just existing for just existing for being sexist for being the one who's supposed to be knowledgeable of these kind of things of your opponents and yet you didn't have enough like thought enough brain capacity to know that these girls are well well versed at what they do that these girls are well that they're not supposed to be trifled with. you are supposed to know that you are supposed to know that then we have him for just being i i think he tried to attack jigu like quite a few times like two or so times it was it just wasn't it it just wasn't it it just wasn't it as well as the fact that he tried to attack the kids i think he what did he try to do i think he poisoned the food or something like that i can't remember what he did but it was crazy it was crazy after that happened i was like whoa that's a bit that's a step too far i actually don't know why the creator put that that was it's up in the air as to whether he actually did it because he denied it i think lee minam asked him whether he did it and he was like no i didn't but like it's assumed that he probably did it so when that happened i was like whoa that you are taking it too far now you're taking it too far when you try to involve kids no okay and then we have them they are the placeholders for every every man who just who just didn't learn the lesson who just did not learn the lesson who just wasn't using their brain their brains yeah so yeah that's it that's it what am i saying with this list what am i saying am i saying that the webtoon would be better without any men in it i think so i think that would be it am i saying that no i'm not saying that i actually really like jibu i liked him he's in my you're doing great sweetie and i liked his story but i wish the story kind of like focused around him and the girls as opposed to like i didn't mind some of the fights because some of the fights are integral to him growing and integral to me just seeing like how badass the girls are as much as i i don't like queen she she's <laughs> queen's amazing queen is an amazing fighter so as much as i don't like her um i can i can like what's the word acknowledge that i can acknowledge that and i can see that and as much as the fights got repetitive and annoying so, like i was saying some of the fights were kind of like integral to his growth so I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that. Like his and his fights, Jago's and um this bullies, the redheads fights. There were some of them were needed. Some of them were needed. Like the fight at the tournament. Did they fight at the tournament? Did they end up fighting? You know when Jago stood up right up to his face and he was taller than him. That that was needed. That that was needed. That was needed. You know what I mean? But after a while, they got repetitive because it's like at least come across with a new plot line for me to see them fighting. There's only so many times I can see them fighting before like my threshold is met. You know what I mean? For my threshold is met. You know what I mean? Like come up with a different. I would have preferred a different plot line to revolve around them fighting because it seemed to always be men underestimate the girls. The girls fight them the girls win you know what i mean like i would have preferred a different a different plot line for that and if they could have just scrapped the romance the if it could have been you know what i would have loved maybe like a platonic kind of thing i would have loved oh my god the romance was one of the the romance really killed it for me the romance really killed it for me um I'm one of the people, I, and I think it's pretty universal among people who read Girls of the World that they really liked it for the most part, except for the ending. They really didn't like the ending. So yeah, that I think that's me included. So yeah, that's basically it. This is my rank. Let's see how it looks. I think, can I? Oh, this is normal view. Oh, I would have done it bigger, but this is what we can see. Yeah, this is normal view i mean this is the expanded view i'm pretty sure so yeah this is how it looks like that's it um let me switch to normal camera view right now so yeah so that was the video hope you enjoyed um yeah i just finished doing all that so yeah here's the ranking and stuff you probably can't see it with the lights but um yeah that was it that was actually kind of fun i actually really enjoyed that so um tell me if you enjoy that too I'll probably link all the um, 
relating like playlists and links that were going on throughout the whole thing i'll probably do all that and um comment whatever like cast or like characters of like a webtoon you would like me to rank preferably the ones that i've done reviews of because i know that okay if i've done reviews of them i know the characters i read the characters um or tell me one that you think that would be good that i should react um not react but rank but i haven't done so maybe i should probably get on reading the webtoon or whatever so yeah that would be nice i think i want to do a let's play version of this i want to do a let's play version of this i would love to do an i love you version of this but i'm not even caught up with either of them yeah and i've been saying it's been on my mind to do a let's play review part two because season two is finished so i'm gonna have to get on that um but yeah preferably the ones that i've done reviews of and um yeah that's it so don't forget to like like subscribe all that good stuff tell me down below if you agree yeah tell me if you agree with the ranking because that's it that would be pretty interesting tell me where you would have put the people if you didn't agree with where i put the people and um tell me which webtoon you'd want me to rank the characters of next because i have another idea for one but it's not characters in one uniform like webtoon but we'll see how that goes we'll see how the girl goes i'm hoping what i did can actually translate to existence because right now i've done it but like who's to say so you actually see the light of the day of it so that's another thing we'll see how it goes see you next year or not so but yeah but yeah anyway bye